Hello. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to do a VLOOKUP and briefly explain why you might want to do one. So let me give you this example here. I'm importing all these people into my database. So just um, a side note before I begin, I want to let you know that I went to a website that gave me random fake names and things like that. So these are not real people at all. But in order for me to import this into my system, I need to have their usernames, I'm sorry, their user IDs included in this. So I have all their name, address, all that information here, but then all of their user IDs are right here. And I have 500 people. So there's no way I'm gonna spend the time trying to look up each person here and put it over there. You know, it's just gonna be too much work. And you know what? I might even have more people in this user ID list than I actually have on my other list. So I can't even like, you know, alphabetize them and copy and paste. It's just not going to work. So what I'm going to do for this is use VLOOKUP. So in order to use VLOOKUP, you need to make sure that you are comparing something on one sheet to another sheet that is unique meaning you cannot have anything that has the same. So I don't want to just look up their first name or just look up their last name because there's a chance that they're going to have the same first name as someone else or the same last name as something else. Now, I know that no one has the same first and last name, but because they're not in the same column, I can't use that. So before I begin my VLOOKUP, I am going to create a column where I'm going to combine their first and last name into a unique name. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to insert a column so I can put in their user ID once I pull that in. Then I'm going to insert another column that's going to have their first and last name in it. So I'm going to call this column here combo and I'll call this column user ID. Now to get the combo, I am going to use the concatenate function. So that's concat, parentheses, and then I'm going to do first name, comma, last name, end. And you can see now I have their name. So what I can do is I can copy this all the way down. So I can go to the bottom right corner, get that black plus sign, and copy it down. Okay, now that I've created this combo name on my list that I want to import the user ID from, I need to create this same combo name on the list that I'm getting it from. And it's really best practice that these things should be the very first column that you have here. Oops, spelled combo wrong there. Okay, so once again, equals, concat, parentheses, click on the first cell, comma, click on the second cell, end parentheses, end down. So now I am just going to drag this all the way down so that I can fill in this for all of my people. Okay, great. I just like to make this bigger so that I can see everything. So now it's time for the actual VLOOKUP. Now I have to say this was something that confused me for so long. And then when I finally figured out how to do it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so easy and so such a good tool to use. So I really want you guys to hopefully realize the great benefits that this can have. Okay, so let's go into this. And what I, side note here, sorry. What I also love is that Excel kind of prompts you with what needs to happen or what you need to input. You'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm gonna type in VLOOKUP. And then I'm gonna start my parentheses. Now it tells me the lookup value. So that means what am I searching for? So I want to search for this name. Then it tells me to put a comma. Now it says the table array. So that means where am I looking for this information? So I'm going to go back to my other sheet and I'm going to say I want to search for it in this whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here. Then while holding the shift button, I'm going to press and release the end button, press and release the down button. And you'll see I went all the way over, uh, all the way down, excuse me. Then I'm going to press the right arrow button so that I've highlighted everything. Now, I can go back up here, and then it's going to 
I'm going to press comma. Even though I'm not, it looks like I'm in the wrong sheet right now, I can still fill out my VLOOKUP formula here, and it'll put it in the original sheet. Then it says the column index number. So that means what do I want it to give back to me? Well, I want the user ID, and that happens to be in column D, which is the fourth column. So I'm going to hit, hit four. And then because I'm looking for an exact match, I'm going to type in the word false. True would have given me an approximate match, but I need an exact match. So I'm going to close that parentheses, hit enter. And you see I've gotten now the user ID for James Butt, 46844. Let's go back just to double check. Go back up to the top. James Butt, 46844. Fantastic. So now I can copy this all the way down to the bottom and I will have all of my things filled in. So the last thing I want to do is I want to take these numbers and paste them in as numbers, not as this formula, because I'm afraid that something could get changed and someone and the something might get deleted and the formula might disappear and then that will alter all my user IDs right here and they won't pull in correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, I press control C, now I'm going to paste right on top of it, but I'm going to paste the values, meaning it's going to paste the numbers that are in there, not the actual formula that created those numbers. And it looks like nothing changed, but when I click on these, you'll notice now the formula is no longer there anymore, and these are actual numbers. I no longer need this combo, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this column, and now I have a formatted file that now has the user IDs along with the other information and I've been able to pull things from two separate sheets into one. I hope this helped you out. I know that there um, are a lot of tutorials out there and I really appreciate that you are taking the time to view mine. So I hope that you'll give this video a like and subscribe. If you have any Excel questions about VLOOKUP or about anything else, please put that in the um, comments down below. I love helping out and making videos. And I hope that you have a great day. Bye.